Well, we got a busy Saturday across the area as we're looking at a line of showers and in some locations, some thunderstorms rolling through. Let's take a look and see what's going on. So as far as today is concerned, it was a very warm day, 68 degrees, well above average. Got a couple for different frontal systems coming in through the area. And when you get that warm air in addition to cooler air, you tend to have a little bit of instability. And that's exactly what we are seeing across the area. So this is a look out toward the Tower Bridge. See the wind there definitely impacting that camera view on the opportunity for the uh, temperatures to be cooling down uh, 61 in Sacramento, 66 in Stockton, 65 in Modesto, 57 in Marysville and 39 degrees in Tahoe. But we are looking at some steadier, heavier rain bands moving through. Here's a look at that weather timeline. You can see the opportunity for rainfall heavy at times coming through around 6, 7, 8 to 9 o'clock. And then the system kind of starts to wane off just a bit. Our sunset coming at 445 this evening and our sunrise tomorrow morning at 710. So here's a look at what we are watching. Pretty significant weather maker coming into the area. I'm going to be pushing in uh, really into the Sacramento area. Bearing in mind, this is being recorded around 430 in the afternoon. And the yellow here showing some heavier rainfall moving in through West Sacramento, pushing off to the east into the northern Sacramento area. Rio Linda, North Highlands, and also Citrus Heights also looking at some more moderate rain bands moving through. We're also looking at the opportunity for a line of thunderstorms rolling through the parts of the Grass Valley and also into the foothills. And that's denoted by those numerous lightning strikes that you see there. This line of thunderstorms moving east around 35 miles per hour. It is going to be rolling through Forest Hill, the Auburn area, Placerville, Pollock Pines, but it is moving at a pretty decent clip. So I know Auburn has that festival of lights, really nice parade going on tonight. If you do have some pretty heavy rain bands coming in, they will be moving out pretty nicely and you will, you will see improving conditions back behind it. I'm not going to take the rainfall out completely, but it won't be anything like what you saw earlier in the day. So the winter storm warning still in effect for parts of the Sierra for everything that you see here in that pink shading that will be in effect until noon tomorrow for areas above 6,500 feet in elevation and the greater Lake Tahoe area chain controls travel delays one to three feet and some locations could see even more snowfall. So here's a look at the future cast showing that line that prominent line moving through the area around five to six to seven o'clock and then after that it kind of not as organized. So we go from heavy rainfall to scattered showers in the forecast. That's going to be through tonight and also through early Sunday. Still looking at the opportunity for some steady snowfall bands moving through, but the rainfall will become more sporadic in nature and eventually kind of petering out around 430 in the afternoon all together for Sunday, setting us up for a pretty decent uh, start to the work week. In the meantime, for tomorrow for Sunday, take a look at this. Still an opportunity for some isolated thunderstorms in the forecast for Sunday. That's going to be for the Valley as well as for the hills. Temperatures much cooler today, 68, tomorrow, 59, 54 for the hills, and still again the opportunity for snow showers in the forecast with that winter storm warning expiring at noon on Sunday for the Sierra. And that is a look at your weather forecast, and now you're all caught up with what's happening today.